what up boys and welcome back to another video so there's been a lot of hype around the tbc classic now that blizzard has finally came out and said yeah it's gonna be a thing and i've been getting a lot of questions about it and uh like the most frequent question is probably are you gonna play it which is definitely a yes and what class are you going to be playing and uh, which class will you gold farm with so that's what we're going to talk about in this video like the different classes for gold farming and the classes that i personally think is the best and why that is so before we dive into the video i do want to mention that yesterday i finally released my uh, complete gold guide for classic tbc and the gold guide is already 80 pages long with classic TBC gold farms. And I'm going to keep on updating this guide up until the beta of TBC. And even when TBC Classic releases, I'm going to tweak the guide and do uh, updates to the guide to make it as good as it could possibly get. But if you want to get a head start and be prepared and have the guide good to go, then you can get it for like the early bird price and get 50% off on the guide by using the code Shadowland, not Shadowlands, TBC. So use the code TBC in the discount field and you find a link to this book down below in the comment section and description. So the classes, it's no secret that I love a Druid. I mean, Druid is the class that I uh, got Gladiator on back in TBC. It is my favorite class throughout every single expansion of the game. And I still think that Druid is a very, very good class, even in TBC for gold farming as well. And the reason why that is, is, well, the obvious, the flight form is really OP. You'd be surprised on how much competition you're going to have picking up herbs and mining. And there's nothing more annoying than being on, let's say, a paladin and you're trying to mine and a druid just comes in and you guys are like battling on who's going to get it and then you want to fly over to the next one. But he's going to instant cast that flight form and you got to wait like, what, three seconds to mount your griffin? It is very annoying. Druids are OP when it comes to gathering in TBC simply because of the... Uh, the instant cast flight form. Now, also, druid are good of tagging mobs. A lot of people don't see that as a major issue, but trust me, even back in the days, being able to tag mobs fast was a big advantage. You want something that you can cast instantly, you want to have a decent movement speed, uh, so you can tag the mobs before anyone else tags the mobs. I'm talking about like the most popular like moat farms, for instance, killing elementals. There's going to be, I can guarantee you, there's going to be a ton of people on each location just waiting for them to spawn, spamming their macros. And if you have something like a, a warlock, your adults, you're not going to tag and deal damage instantly. Druids, they will outperform you. 100%. So that's why, like, another reason why druids are so good. Now, one other reason why druids are good is because of stealth runs. Stealth runs is big in TBC. You can stealth run to pick up herbs and ore in dungeons like uh, Underbook, for instance, uh, Monotubes, and so on. You just skip all the ads and you take up the, uh, the veins and the herbs that are... Uh, like where no mobs are close by and even chest runs so a lot of the chests can of course be uh be locked and not open so rogues are also decent for stealth runs but uh i like rogues in general are okay but i still think druids are better even though rogues are going to do the stealth part of the dungeon better than a druid so that's like a couple of points on why the druid is good and i'm definitely going to play a uh, druid as well in the tbc now, the second class is going to be a mage. And mages were, like, OP in classic WoW. Like, vanilla WoW. Absolutely insane. And they were still really good. I mean, they were great for, like, open world farming. They have, like, they have decent damage. And you can, like, you can pull multiple mobs. Uh, if you're doing, let's say, moat of fire farming... You want to be able to tag every single mob that spawns, even though you're already fighting one. And mages do that very well, because they can just kite the mobs, slow down the mobs, and so on. So they're really good at that. And then you have the obvious, you can port, like you can have your portals, you can make your own food and your own water. So you never really have to, uh, to go back and go to a vendor and so on to buy food and water and all of that stuff. 
And they're also good for like AoE farming. They're not as good as they were back in Classic WoW, where you could pull as literally as many mobs as you wanted to. In TBCs, they were still good, but uh, Blizzard caps, I believe, at like 10 mobs at a time or something strange like that, if I recall correctly. So if you're pulling 11 mobs, it's only going to damage 10 of those, and then when one die, it's going to like it's gonna damage that one that number 11 mob so it but you're still good there's so many farm spots in uh classic tbc where you can pull like 10 and 10 mobs and absolutely dominate them on uh, a mage so i'm definitely playing a mage too i'm not sure if it's going to be my first class but it's uh definitely a good class for uh for tbc and then we have a class that's similar to the mage which is the hunter hunter always i mean hunters are have been good farming classes for like the, the couple first expansions easily uh, i mean even the uh um, the, the latest expansions you you could build like a speed set and farm officially on a hunter but they were similar to mage in the uh, regards that they don't really have any downtime like less downtime than a mage you can just keep on pulling mobs and pulling mobs and pulling mobs and you're going to kill them extremely fast. Uh, you don't have to take any breaks whatsoever. Depends on your gear, of course. But hunters are just great for that single target farming. So uh, playing a hunter is good. They they don't have any massive AoE or anything like that. Like a, a mage uh, do. But like they're great for just uh, primal farming and so on. Uh, killing mobs one by one. And even if you, you pull a couple of mobs, you're going to be fine on a hunter. So uh, I would definitely uh, definitely look into a hunter if you enjoy playing hunters. It, it's definitely a good pick. Don't feel like you're uh, shooting yourself in the foot by picking a hunter. Absolutely a uh, great class. And then the last class, which is probably not a secret to anyone that played uh, back in the TBC. And it's the class that you can see me play on screen right here in Classic WoW. And that is a Paladin. So Paladins are really good. I had to log on to Classic to see uh, to see if there was a lot of people leveling Paladin. I'm not sure if it was random, but there was a shit ton. When I'm running running around in Westfall, all I see is Paladins. So, Paladins, absolutely insane, insane class in TBC. The reason why? They solo shit. They got great AoE. I mean, you can run uh, Skolomance, and you can run... Uh, BR and LBRS, you can run uh, Undead Side Stratum, and you have insane damage against uh, Undead mobs as a Paladin. But the AoE and the uh, the uh, the defense on the Paladin is insane. So you can pull almost entire dungeons and AoE down super efficiently. And the great thing about that is that you don't have any competition on killing. Uh, that's what I mentioned earlier in this video. Not a, little, a lot of people look at that as a problem, but it's going to come to you when you start playing the uh, the classic TBC expansion, that tagging mobs and competition on gold farming. Some of you noticed that in classic vanilla, it's a big problem. But if you're farming dungeons, soloing dungeons, you're not going to have any competition in the dungeon. The only competition you're going to have is going to be selling whatever you're farming right but that's a whole different ball game and it's not as frustrating and even though like a lot of the gold that you will be making running these old dungeons are going to be in forms of raw gold and also a decent amount of it is going to be materials that sells relatively decent so uh shouldn't be a big issue and then you can also do even lower level dungeons because twinking is still going to be a thing in tbc so People are still going to want those items from like Shadowfang Keep and so on. And you can easily, uh, easily run those dungeons on a Paladin. And Paladins are also really good for boosting people, like level boosting in the dungeons. So I want a Paladin just because, as you guys probably know, the dungeon farming is my favorite thing. It wasn't my favorite thing back in uh, the earlier expansions, but... Uh, I, I want to try it out because I didn't do that back in TBC. Uh, I didn't have a paladin, didn't go farm with one, but they were absolutely insane. And I had a friend who was just living on his paladin doing uh, old dungeons for gold. So I definitely want to get my hands on that. Uh, but that was pretty much it for this video. So if you guys got any uh, comments on it or whatsoever, leave them down below in the comment section. And uh, make sure that you uh, grab the... Uh, 
complete gold guide classic tbc link in description and i will see all of you guys back in on tomorrow's video but until then bye bye